Let's move on to our next topic. Uh, this is a big one, actually, that I wanted to get into. There's been a ton of quality life improvements that uh, Epic kind of peeled back uh, the curtain a little bit. And... Um, uh, basically, they have the state of development update. So I just want to read you guys through it, and then we're going to talk about it with the crew here. So what the, what Epic has said is we're continuing to improve the core gameplay experience and have a number of features in progress. First, challenge progress notifications. Starting in 4.3 update, there will be an in-match pop-ups. There will be in-match pop-ups to highlight your challenge progress. So that's interesting. You know, you don't have to go to the front menu. They continued saying, track what you've completed and plan out your strategy for the remainder of the match or uh, for your next one. Then, this one's really interesting, in-world markers. Marking positions on the map is a great way to communicate with your squad, but often the marker on the compass isn't enough to get you to your location. We're investigating ways to display an in-world marker to allow for easier navigation around the island. Next up, the victory, victory royale screen when you get that win. They, what they said about it was getting a victory royale should be a memorable experience. And that victory screen should support that. We want to freshen up the celebration and make it a bit more rewarding. Next up, a high resolution mini map. What they said about this, the ability to zoom in on the map was added in a recent update, but the resolution of the image isn't as quite as good as we want it to be. Our goal is to capture the world with as many details as possible to make it easier when you figure out where you're dropping. Then they talked about better footsteps and vertical audio, saying our 4.2 update had some footstep audio improvements where we added slightly more variation to above and below sounds. We recognize it's still difficult to identify enemy position in high density locations such as tilted towers and will continue to iterate on this. I guess Tilted is staying around for a while. Um, <laughs> spectator UI improvements was another one. They said the spectator UI is missing a lot of information that's on the player HUD. So examples of things they wanna add include item inventory, ammo, crosshairs, building edits, compass and markers. And the last thing they touched on was cosmetics. They just said all outfits and cosmetics have value. We want to add ways for you to gain additional goodies through collection over time. This is a work in progress and it's a little further out. Um, so yeah, it was just a huge update and I wanted to make sure we got through that. You know, there's a lot to discuss in there, but I'm curious, you know, with you guys, did anything in those updates stick out to you? What I like about it above all is that, um, you know, they're talking about this openly with the community and that's the right thing to do is every time I spectate, you know, it's like, why can't I see how many materials you have, yeah. you know, but did anything stick out to you guys? Uh, the, the thing that stuck, stuck out to me is the challenge progress notifications. I think it's, I think it's huge yeah. that they're adding that finally because you have these challenges. For example, this week, you got to search seven ammo boxes in a single match. So you're running around there because some people just drop in to only, um, to only complete these challenges. Yeah. And you find yourself running around and you lose track. Totally, yeah. Yeah, and if something pops up like, oh, that's your seventh one, that would be awesome. I have that happen all the time. Like, you're so antsy to get into the next match, and then you're like, oh, wait, like, what are my challenges? Yeah. And you're like, I don't remember where I'm at with that. And you're like, let's just go to retail. Um, <laughs> and, like, that's a great spot where if it's in-game, right, I think you say, no, let's go to Haunted. And everybody groans, and you go, mm -hmm. and you get your chest, right? Yeah, um, I, I'm super excited for that one. Sean, did anything in the state of development period or the quality of life stick out to you? Yeah, for sure. The uh, better footsteps and vertical audio oh, yeah. is huge for me. Um, my One of my biggest complaints when I play Fortnite is like I, I don't know what's happening around me. Like I hear stuff and I'm like, I know that I hear things. I know that there's somebody here, but I can't figure out where, if I'm above them or below them. or like. Yeah. And as someone who plays a lot of other Battle Royale games, Sound is like huge, uh, especially in solos when I'm like, I crank the sound all the way up. I'm like, I hear footsteps. I just have no idea where they are. They could be anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice to hear them addressing that and that they're continuing to, because I want that to be perfect, obviously. That's right. like a big part of the game that you, they could easily, well, not, not easily, but if they implement they can it, focus it, they that, could focus it and make it a, they a better than it should be. Clearly recognize it. You know, you don't hear developers zoning in so much on audio. Mm -hmm. I've really appreciated, actually. They've done a lot with audio touches that, you know, the grain of wood sounds different than the clash of metal and so on. And like, yeah. the building sounds different. And um, there's a lot of little audio cues. So yeah, play it with the, the audio cranked. Um, and you don't think the sound's bad or anything. No, right? I don't think you it's bad. You just need more I just, out. I just want more of it. Yeah, exactly. I, I want, like, I should know if someone's above me or below me just by the sound they're making, like, in my headset. 
Yeah, uh, personally, I think so. So I like I love that they're focusing on that, and I think that that's like a great step for the game. Yeah, yeah, and make sure also to check out in this. It's a really big state of development update that they did. Uh, they even talked about like console updates with Builder Pro and using the controller. I don't know, Sean, did you get to read much through that? Yeah, I did. Um, so it's pretty much just like small quality of life improvements. It's like with like turbo building, and uh, it feels a little clunky sometimes. Yeah, like um, auto aim in the center of where you're building yeah. to keep things a little cleaner, so your target's not off. And yeah, and and. It's also like uh, special key bindings, which is great because then it's like I can map uh, wall or stairs like to whatever I want it to be, yep. uh, which is like huge, especially yeah. if you have an elite controller because uh, then you can make use the bumpers on the back. I think it's great. Like that control set is like a lifesaver, yeah. like literally. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> think of life before Builder Pro, and so, it's horrible. Yeah, there was the, there was no comparison at all between PC and console at all. Because if like, I was always like, I'm not gonna go play with you on PC. I'm gonna get mauled. Like, yeah, people yeah. are gonna build all over me. I won't be able to nah, do anything. Nah, you'll be fine. But now, I mean, they're still gonna mess me up. But you know, I'll, I'll be able to build, I'll be able to build a staircase faster. Though. Exactly. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. If you'd like to support the show, follow us wherever you are. Don't miss last week's episode. Be sure to set your notifications on youtube.com slash Royale Rundown. I'm Fran Mirabella, and I'll see you next time.